Melting snow and heavy rain is causing serious problems in Muskegon and Oceana counties. Yeah, residents near Fremont, they're dealing with some flooding near their homes. And 13 on your side, Kristen Mazer is on M120 near 48th Street in Fremont. Kristen, how's it looking out there? Hey guys, uh, honestly, not too bad. Fremont uh, here in Nuevo County, just about 4,000 residents waking up to uh, probably seeing one of these signs, these road closure signs. They were put up last night due to the uh, intense flooding that we had out here. Although you can see right behind me that thankfully for these residents out here that that water has receded. As James just mentioned here on M120 by 48th Street, one of the harder hit areas. Let's take a look though at some of the video that uh, we had last night that a viewer, Jessica, had sent us in. Taking a look at this right here, uh, this video sent in by Jessica near the intersection of 32nd Street and Maple Island Road. As you can see, much different situation last night compared to what we're seeing right here. Just northwest of that area where I'm at right now, residents along Martin Lake also being impacted. Want to go ahead and show you some of that video as well along that area. Some other flooding video here in Fremont. Dispatch telling us that that lake is still very high, although there was no mandatory evacuation. Now, even though the uh, severe weather that has moved east, the light rain that we're going to continue to see, coupled with um, <laughs> coupled with uh, the uh, snow continuing to melt, along with uh, a lot of wind out here, uh, certainly, uh, that will just add uh, even more water to the situation out here. So it's uh, very likely that we're probably going to see even more of a saturated ground than what we're already seeing. We'll keep an eye out on the area, and we'll check back uh, in with you guys in just a little bit.